With the new year upon us, there is a natural inclination to look inward and seek to improve ourselves, to be better in the coming year than we were in the last. We do this by envisaging an ideal individual and resolving to live up to that ideal in our actions. A recent notable development in the Bitcoin community provides a glimpse into the mythological power of the ideal. Earlier this month, a notorious Bitcoin critic and master meme maker, Joshua Davis, posted a new meme. The meme was a variation of the classic you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. The two-panel meme format generally juxtaposes a picture of the target individual in one panel against a picture of a masculine ideal in the other. Sometimes the meme will feature a photo of a particular known male. Sometimes the meme will feature a woman in one or more panels. However, the meme is just as common featuring drawings or stock photos. As the meme's title implies, it is directed at a heterosexual male audience and is meant to play on common male insecurities about his ability to attract and maintain a relationship with women. The Virgin Chad meme format is another popular variant on this theme. The men for whom this meme is most triggering are the men who identify most with the inadequate male, the you in you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. In the particular instance of the meme posted by Davis, the you panel featured an executive at, ostensibly, one of the most powerful companies in Bitcoin, excitedly embracing a children's toy. The guy she tells you not to worry about panel featured an unknown but large, muscled, and bearded man flexing his bicep while holding a smiling woman around the waist. Both photos had been posted by the woman herself. That woman is the current girlfriend of the executive. Every element of the meme is perfect. The juxtaposition of the infantile beta male embracing a toy with the hulking alpha male embracing a woman strikes the perfect chord. Even a viewer who had no clue who the individuals in the meme were immediately gets it. That the person in the beta male panel has been considered by many to be one of the most powerful people in the Bitcoin community is a powerful commentary on the community itself. The reaction to the meme was frantic. The executive railed against Davis, going so far as to rally his supporters to do everything in their power to deplatform the meme maker. The executive even called the meme sexist and an insult to the woman involved. This criticism was truly odd considering the content. That the response was so unhinged validated the truth of the meme. Only a man in whom the meme triggered deep and powerful insecurities would have such a reaction. The executive said, in the midst of his tantrum, that the alpha male in question was merely an old gym friend of his current love interest. The name took hold, and the gym friend meme was born. As in all memes, the subjects are meant to represent archetypes. Although Jim Friend is a real person with a name and a personality, in this context he is meant to represent every alpha male, and the executive is meant to represent every infantile repressed beta male. The meme itself is about the male subjects, which made the reaction to the meme all the more interesting. Why do people continue to spread this meme? Even those who were triggered and upset by it continue to spread it. Jim Friend is an ideal. He is clearly an older man, perhaps in his 50s, who has kept a high level of discipline throughout his life. His body is fit. He has a sense of style and class. In every photo, he exudes a calm confidence. He is comfortable in his skin and his environment. He is the type of man that draws attention when he enters a room. The type of man that other men treat with respect. There is nothing to indicate that he is rude, mean, or anything but a gentleman. The fact that attractive women are pleased to be photographed in his arms gives us evidence of all of this. His very appearance is proof that he has made himself his mission. Like all ideals, in order for a man to be like Jim Friend requires great sacrifice. As someone who has spent much of my life in the gym and who has, at various times of my life, been in elite physical shape, I understand that pursuing such an ideal requires incredible sacrifice, pain, and discomfort. This is not only true in the physical sphere. Anyone who has developed great skill in a particular mental or spiritual domain 
knows that similar sacrifice is mandatory. Satoshi Nakamoto clearly sacrificed greatly to manifest Bitcoin. Those early adopters in the space, people referred to as OGs, sacrificed in pursuit of an ideal at a time when there was no guarantee that Bitcoin would ever be worth anything. Jim Friend is the ideal that Bitcoin needs now. For better or worse, the Bitcoin community is primarily made up of men. While there are women in the space, with few exceptions, they are active in the marketing and evangelism spheres. Most of the development of the technology is the domain of men. This is a disruptive technology that carries true risks. The story of Ross Ulbricht is a tale of what is required of those who truly push Bitcoin to where it can do the most good. Roger Veer is another example of a man who is living the ideal. He has been willing to subject himself to mental, physical, and spiritual discipline throughout his life to find the strength to challenge the establishment. On the other side of the coin are men who are unwilling to even show their faces in public and hope to get rich because other men are building a Bitcoin economy and increasing the value of the networks. Bitcoin needs men to be men. Bitcoin needs more gym friends. There's nothing wrong with calm, powerful, protective masculinity. In fact, of the two men in the meme, it is not Jim Friend who celebrates being toxic. Toxic masculinity is not the domain of the alpha male. The alpha male is a builder and a protector of society. Toxic masculinity is the domain of the insecure, easily triggered boy who clutches to toys made through the labor of others, who feels entitled to have his life be comfortable and to have that comfort provided through the labor of others. Bitcoin is an individual revolution. Individual people can and do make massive contributions to the future of financial sovereignty. Those contributions come as the result of disciplined living, of striving to learn and grow so that knowledge can be shared with others. In this new year, I'm going to embrace my inner gym friend. If a critical mass of Bitcoiners resolve to emulate the ideal, then I have no doubt we can, in time, bring peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash and individual financial sovereignty to the entire world.